Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to the DC booth. My name is Fletcher Chu Fong, we are the events manager here at DC Comics. I'm happy to be on the stage here with Art Germ, Varian, Comic, Varian Comics cover master. Art Germ, Stanley Lau. So, uh, we're going to get started. So gather around, we're going to talk about uh, your history, your career, yeah. and um, which DC character do you want to draw for us? Let's draw um, the Batgirl. Batgirl, um, great. Yeah, it was one of my important... Um, Run for, for Batgirl. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Was that your first run for DC Comics? What, what was the first? The first long series, actually. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh. And um, how did you get your start in comic books, Archer? Um, to be honest, I need to make a disclaimer that I don't actually read comics. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I grew up with um, um, anime, manga stuff. So comic is just something that I learned when I moved to Singapore. So that's how I got started. <laughs> oh. And how long have you been doing this? I've been drawing for the past 30 years, since 15. Oh, really? Now I'm 44. <laughs> yes. You don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is Batgirl your favorite character? Uh, I, I love Batgirl. Um, I love girls. So yeah, I draw yeah. a lot of girls. I draw guys too sometimes. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, we saw. I saw you during setup, and uh, we were looking at the Supergirl statue that Sideshow has next door to us. Yay! Yeah. What do you think about that? How do you? How do you I feel? I love it. I mean, we spent so much time, um, one whole year, just to get everything right. And I've been working with Sideshow for so many years. They are very fun to work with. And when I told them that I'm having a Supergirl run, they're like, "Okay, let's do a Supergirl." Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, so it was really fun. Yeah, yeah, he did those great covers too. One of those iconic uh, covers that uh, mimicked, I think, Michael Turner, some of the animated series run too. Yes, um, I always wanted to do some homage for some of the classic right. Supergirl costumes, so I took the opportunity when I went, when I was working on the Supergirl covers. At first, I wanted to do about six different eras, but you know they cut short the the story, so I did three. So I make the three very significant ones. So right. Mike Turner and uh, Bruce Team versions and uh, the retro version. The retro version, yeah, yeah. yeah with the uh, the collar. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of formal art training did you get? I'm have a self-taught artist. Oh, I have not, great. Yeah, I've not gone through any proper art training. It's something that I just learned by myself. Mm -hmm. The only official training in creative is graphic design. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're based out of Singapore, did you say? Yes. I, I was born in Hong Kong. Uh -huh. And I moved to Singapore when I was 17. And I'm married there with two boys. Oh. Yeah. Are they artists as well? <laughs> they pretend to be. <laughs> yeah. And um, I don't have expectation for them to be artists. If they want to draw, I teach them. Mm -hmm. You know, I... I have a ten, I mean nine years old and a six years old. Yeah. I start teaching them anatomy and color theory and stuff like that. And it's good to start early, yeah, you know. Sure. <laughs> How old are they? Six, you said. Yeah, six and nine. Six and nine. Yeah. As an aspiring artist here for the crowd, what's the one most important lesson you think you can give uh, to somebody who's trying to make it big? Mm, I think it's really important to enjoy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I continue to draw, I've been drawing for 30 years. I draw 8 hours a day mm. for the past 30 years. Very dedicated. And no, honestly, it's not even a chore. Mm -hmm. It's just something that I enjoy. I mean, there's something that many people don't understand, even my wife. Uh. Like, why are you so workaholic? I say, I'm not. I'm playing. <laughs> the only time I work are the weekends when I have to manage my kids, All bring right. them to classes and stuff. Yeah, that was my real job. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that you find really difficult to draw? Or you find uh, everything's pretty... Uh, approach um, it with like a challenge? I think mechani me mechanical stuff. Oh, okay. Like mach machines, mecha. Yeah, those are something that I did not invest enough time. Even mm. as a big anime fan, manga fan? <laughs> yes, I am. Very mm. much. Yeah. My favorite <laughs> anime is Feast of North Star. Oh, I Oh my god, it's so yeah. old. I feel so old now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, done one. Yeah. Right, we can keep drawing and keep yeah. talking. 
later. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have any questions for Art Germ? Yeah, right here. What's your favorite media to use? Favorite what? what? Media. Uh, media. Um, I would say that in my younger days, I, I was doing a lot of traditional mediums like watercolor, color pencils, gouache. And as soon as I got my first tablet, I moved into digital. So I've been drawing digitally for the past 20 years. Oh, really? So there's no original art? It's all digital? Only reason, yes, as people start asking me about original work. Right. They want to buy some art from me. So I say, OK, let's start drawing. So I start learning copics and right. start learning charcoals. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I. You have a spot on uh, Artist Alley? Do you have a booth? Yes, I have a booth at 4502. My 4523. 4523. So if you guys want to see more, it's 4503. Yes, right next to Mark Brooks. And, and oh, okay. Yeah. 4503. So if you guys want to see more of Archer's work, please visit him at his booth over there. Of course, I'll draw Supergirl. Yeah. What are you working on uh, these days for DC? I know you just did a Wonder Woman 50 cover. Oh, yeah. That was so fun. Yeah. Um, I'm also working on Catwoman. Right. There's a Catwoman number one variant. And yes. I don't know how long will I be on it, but yeah. I'll try my best. Yeah. You know, honestly, it's, it's not easy. Especially that so many artists have already done Catwoman. Yeah. Like Adam Hughes did a great Catwoman run. For me to match that, I'm trying very hard. Yeah. <laughs> what inspires you? What, what, how do you get your inspiration? I think it would just say anime, games, yeah. manga, all the fun stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Generally speaking, yeah. Anybody have uh, questions for Art Germ? What's your favorite game? What's my favorite game? This game called Katamari. Katamari. Katamari de Tamasi. So mm -hmm. basically, it's like a little boy pushing balls. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I, I like Street Fighters as well. Oh. Yeah. So when you draw, do you visualize everything first in your head and just pen to paper? Yes, usually I will have about 70% of the final image in my mind before I start sketching. Right. Yeah. Was it hard to relearn how to actually draw rather than using digital? Um, not really. I mean, it took me about three weeks to get used to the digital medium, the tablet, the hand-eye coordinations. Once I got past that, it was just the explorations of different software, what they can do to me. Yeah, that's all. It's not hard at all. What would you consider your breakout piece? One that really put you on the map for the comic world. Mm, I would say that Batgirl was my serious break. Yeah. I mean, before that, I did a lot of smaller titles, which right. like this comic called The Great Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing much, but I think Batgirl really put me on on the on the map on the map. Yes. Yeah. Yep, what's your question? What was the inspiration for the Pepper Project? The question was, what was your inspiration for the Pepper Project? Ah. Back then, I was running an advertising company myself. So I, we need to do a lot of branding stuff, logo designs. And I didn't get a chance to draw. So I really wanted to draw something. So I, want, so I created Pepper as a subject matter for me to draw her every day. I mean, I like to draw hot chicks. So I, I created that. And I tried to draw her in different styles. So that I can really enjoy the diversity of style and get myself out of the comfort zone. Yeah. I'm still drawing her <laughs> up to today. Yeah. So you mentioned that you work with digital. Um, do you do watercolors too? Uh, you're working with pen and ink? That's right. Yeah. So when you do your, your variant covers now, is it mostly still digital? Uh, you know, the, the recent one, um, Batman 49? Yeah. And before they, they sort of supposed to get married, mm -hmm. um, I did that in charcoal. Yeah, oh, okay. so it's a Batman with the Catwoman. Yeah, yeah that one yeah. was done in charcoal. Oh, really? Charcoal? Yeah, charcoal, yes. Anybody else with some questions? Oh, the question here is, uh, do you, are you going to be doing any interior art? Not really. I'm not so passionate about telling stories or doing interiors. I know it's a big commitment, I, and I don't think I have that commitment. I like to try different things and just help 
the book to be more successful. So basically, I was just there to boost sales for the comics. Right, right. <laughs> At least I try. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. All right. Well, these are beautiful pieces here. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I know there's some story about Supergirl. Last year, I was talking to one of the editors. My, um, he asked me, what do I like to work on? I say, I want, to, I want to work on Supergirl, mainly because I love the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> and my wife loved it. So we watched it together. So I said, OK, I want to work on Supergirl cover. And my job is that, well, it may be a bit arrogant to say that, but I really want to own this character. Which means that I want to define Supergirl mm -hmm. the way I see it. And then when people think about Supergirl, they think about my version of it. Yeah. That's great, yeah. yeah. Who are some of your other inspirations? Uh, inspirations? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 like, I like many people, many, many people from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, people like Yoji Shinkawa, the, the artist for Metal Gear Solid. Mm -hmm. I like um, James Jean. James Jean's great. He's awesome. And um, I mean, I like um, Adam Hughes, of course. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Great. Yeah. Right. Mm. One more question. Yeah. I heard that uh, you're doing a Supergirl uh, covers, something like 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000. Yeah. What, whatever happened to that project? Because I think uh, the only ones I got are the one from 70s and 80s. Yes, as I say, that I wanted to do about six issues of different era, but they cut short the, 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 the series, so I have to stop. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. Well, we're going to actually going. probably... Yeah. We're going to give these uh, two pieces away. Mm -hmm. um, we got a couple of trivia questions. Uh, first trivia question is, uh, first person to tell me uh, what uh, Art Germ's uh, first big break was. Yep, so you get the back of. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, next trivia question. Thank you. <laughs> so as we know, uh, Art Germ is doing the variant covers for Catwoman. Uh, who's, which artist was he inspired by? To All right, right over here. <laughs> Yay. Can I get a big round of applause here for Mr. Art Germ? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. <laughs>